classy, not very sleek, but he's bright and he's sassy. When you're with him, you better leave your cares behind. It's Herbie. He makes you feel that there's a rainbow waiting just around the bend. And if the chips are down, you know he'll help you to the end. And Herbie's my best friend, my best friend. My best friend. First lesson, you're doing very well, Mrs. Fernstrom. And no, I'm not nervous one bit. Not the least bit. <laughs> <laughs> not the least. Oh, 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 now, Boris. 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 Oh, Boris, now you be a good boy and settle down. How can I learn to write? You know what happens when you don't love me, darling. Where do you want me to turn? It's okay, Mrs. Fernstrom. You already have. Oh, oh, oh. Boris, can't you see I'm driving? Uh, but you'll be a dear. I've got some doggy candy in the back of my purse. Now, oh, that's all right, Boris. Of course. My purse. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Sometimes that clasp is impossible. Here, let me help you. Let me see if I can help. Oh, should I be driving? You could use the practice, Mrs. Fernstrom. Oh. without knowing it. <laughs> well, I think that's enough for today, Mrs. Fernstrom. <laughs> to know you the way I know you. I thought you said he wanted to like us. He does. Mom, I can't find my blue sweater anywhere. Right where you left it. Mom, is this trip really necessary? For me, I mean? Julie, what are you doing in my red blouse and don't you dare tell me you're going fishing in it? Better not say going fishing without it. <laughs> <laughs> See me drive. Indeed, madam. I should have seen me drive. Uh, Mrs. Fernstrom, how's 2.30 tomorrow? Oh, I can't wait to get back in that darling little car. Bye-bye. Bye. Kirby -bye. sure loves to pamper the senior citizens. Yeah, almost sounds like he's purring. Or growling. Oh, there you are, Douglas. Should I get the dueling pistols or the arsenic? You know, I've been trying to catch up with you ever since you and your little car broke up my wedding. The dueling pistols. I'm sure it wasn't to congratulate me. No, it was to thank you for bringing me to my senses. I'm all out of peace pipes. Why don't I get some coffee? No, you see, Susan wasn't for me. I wasn't for her. What's over is over. No hard feelings, huh? You know, it took me a while to track you down. Like your new place. Oh, well, this, uh, this is just temporary. I lost the lease on the other place, oh. and this is all I could come up with at the moment. Well, life is made up of moments, Douglas. Seize them. It's a good area. You put up a nice little building. Hey, huh? All you need is money. That's no problem. No problem. No. 
Not if you have friends in the right places. Uh -uh. No, you just get that contractor started, buy some new cars, unload these antiques. Uh, well, uh, well, not all of them. Just, uh, what is it you're talking about, Bigelow? Douglas, Jim, if I may, money is what Mother and our bank is all about. You want a loan, you got a loan. What, what are friends for? You let me handle the details, huh? Well, I'm, uh, I'm very impressed, a little mystified, too. Why would... I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this, and there's no sense in uh, deceiving you, right? No. <laughs> but I'm not doing this just for you. I'm doing it for Susan and, and for those wonderful kids. I always want to be Uncle Randy to them. Uncle Randy. Right. Well, see you, Douglas. always want to be Uncle Randy to the kids, but to Herbie, he'll always be... I'm with Herbie. Well, I'll tell you something, Mo. If he comes through with that loan, to me, he'll always be Uncle Nice Guy. in my way for the last time. I'm telling you, Mother, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna get that, Douglas. All right, get him. I want him out of the way. Take your fingers out of your mouth. I can't understand what you're saying. I said I'm going to get rid of Douglas and get Susan back. She isn't worthy of you, Randall. I know, but I want her anyway. And I'm gonna have her. Oh, Randy. <laughs> Don't ask Jim a zillion questions or, or get him to do everything for you. I mean, try to be a little independent. Matthew, do you hear me? I am counting on you. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Morning. Hey, that's Herbie. Hiya, Herbie. Hi, Julie. Uh, hey, guys, aren't you going to say hello to Jim? Uh, they'll have all afternoon to say hello. Hello. Uh, I think I'm a little jealous. Well, don't be. I, uh, actually, I have more to say to you than just hello. Uh, short circuit. It, it, something wrong with the horn. Yeah, well, not as far as I'm concerned. I'm getting more interested in that song all the time. Lady, that could be the next tune you hear. Right after a certain loan department plays, we're in the money. Ah, uh, happy fishing. Well, I know there's a lake around here somewhere. Wow, who's there? Nobody ever. I, uh, that, no, that doesn't go in there. Maybe this, I thought this one fit together. I think it goes over. No, 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 here, here. I think I've got it here now. No, that doesn't work. I had these together once, I know that, I just... No, no, here, I remember. I remember, here we go. Hang on now, Bruce. We're gonna start having a good time any minute now. I think you're right. What a surprise! Oh, come on, I'm not as surprised as you are, Jason. Well, I guess I did mention we were coming up here. Nice going, Mr. Douglas. The best way to a woman's heart is through her kids. <laughs> Class dismissed, Jason. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. <laughs> you're not only dismissed, Raymond, you're off key. Oh, come on, Mr. Douglas, I'm only kidding. Is it all right if we take Julie for a spin around the lake? I don't know, I... I, I mean, we were going to fish. 
We'll have her back before you figure out how to bait the hooks. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thanks, Mr. Douglas. Bye. Hey, Mr. Douglas. Bye. Well, at least the three of us will catch some fish. If I can get these poles together. I got one together. You see, you slide this back so you can attach the reel. And then the line goes through these, and then the hook goes on. Can I have it? Well, apparently, this isn't your first time to go fishing. No. My dad used to bring me up here when I was little. I bet you and your dad had some good times together, huh? Yeah. Some. That was before he went away. We're going to have some good times together, too, Matthew. We're going to start today. Well, that's okay. I'll get it. I'm going down fast. Well, there's plenty of other hats. What about pools? Well, maybe I can reach it. Listen, you keep it up and Mom will never be able to hook Jim. Why not? I almost did. Oh, I can't reach it. I'm in no mood for an icy swim. Hey, I got it. Matthew, hang on to Herbie's bumper. And, and grab my belt. Come here, Robbie. Hey, what a neat idea. Yeah. Let me just stretch out. Hang on. Hang on, Matthew. Okay, Robbie, st stretch out. Further. And a boy. Good. Thanks, Herbie. Don't thank Herbie. Thank Jim. I'll thank Cam and Phil and take with my line. Why not? Is there anything else? Yeah, why don't we ask Jim if we can go out in the boat? I don't know. We're not supposed to ask him a zillion questions. Mom said to be independent. Let's just take the boat ourselves. Thanks, Herbie, but I can do it myself. I think. Can I ask him something? Just one question. What now? Where are we sinking? There's a hole in the boat. Okay, so you know the SOS. Save it for something important. I can't stop it. Oh, darn it. How can we call Jim? You know what Mom said. But I'd rather be alive than independent. <laughs> Like that before. 
And I hope you never will again. Let's go. Could you guys go a little faster? <clears throat> Wish we had gone fishing. Well, this isn't exactly being back in a few minutes. Relax. At least they're having a good time. But I was supposed to be having it with them. You're having it here. Having a good time. Having a good time. anybody anything until my teeth stop chattering. Maybe we could go to a fire. Oh, no. No, no, I don't want to have to call the fire department. I just want to go home. Hey, wait a minute. What about Julie? Julie? Oh. Oh, you, you guys stay out here and just watch out for her, okay? I'm going to try to thaw out in here. Thanks, Herbie. So far, you're the only kid that's not causing a problem. And furthermore, if Douglas gets this loan, it seems you're really putting him in business. In isn't what I had in mind. Famous driving school. Uh, may I speak uh, with Jim Douglas? Uh, well, he won't be back till very late, if at all. May I help you? He just have. Is this Mr. B... Uh, hello? <laughs> Mr. Diaz, please. Uh, he's one of your motor vehicle inspectors. <laughs> uh, Mr. Diaz, this is Randy Bigelow at the bank. I spoke to you about that uh, loan for the famous driving school. Yeah. Could you meet me there as soon as possible? Good. You got caught in a shower. Because he's the one that went in the lake. With your clothes on? How else could he save us from drowning? Look, you were the one who wanted to take the boat. You were the one who untied it. Yeah, well, I didn't know it was leaky. Just a second. You took the boat out without Jim? You didn't want us to ask him a million questions. I have asked him at least one. Fortunately, I'm a very good swimmer. Well, I don't, I don't believe any of this. Julie, I hope you didn't have anything to do with it. I didn't, Mom. She didn't. She wasn't even there. What? Well, Jason came by and... Oh, uh, look. Look. We, we got home sickly now. There's nothing to worry about. Oh. I'm worried. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Will you? Ever? <laughs> Bless you. Thanks. I'll see you later. Why don't I believe that? Hold it. Thanks a lot, gang. We're really sorry, Mom. I mean, we were just trying to get to know him, like you said. Yeah, we got to know he's a funny swimmer. Oh, great, great. Two of you got to know him too well, and the other one not at all. I got to know him on the way home, Mom. He's the strong, silent type who grinds his teeth a lot. If Jim were here with her other car... My fault. My fault. You know, it'd be a shame to have the loan turned down because of bad timing. Oh, don't pay any attention to this car, Mr. Diaz. They never use it. It doesn't even run. I wouldn't want you to think they were doing anything illegal. Illegal? Are you kidding? The other car is our main one, and it's perfect. 
from my friend's mouth to your ear, Mr. Diaz. An excellent car, even for its age. Uh, what is it, a 49, 50? Uh... A 63! 63? That's amazing, and it still runs. See, I wouldn't want Mr. Diaz to think he was dealing with an old broken down clunker. It's passed every inspection the DMV has ever given it. Of course. Of course. Well, I'd hate to think I'd said something that'd get you and Douglas into trouble. Well, maybe I should look into it. A 1963, huh? Oh, dear. I have said something wrong, haven't I? I wish there was something I could do to vindicate myself. <laughs> well, Herbie can for sure. Boy, am I glad to see you. Jim, what a blessing you're here. Uh, Mr. Diaz from the DMV. Oh, it's Mr. Diaz, the Department of Motor Vehicles. Well, uh, it's about the loan. Oh, well. The loan, yes. I, well, I know it's about the loan. <laughs> well, inspect away, Mr. Diaz. You'll find the brakes and the steering tires in perfect condition. We're going to need a lot more space for all these new cars. With that loan, we're going to have it. Had to come back, didn't you, you miserable old relic? Stop! 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 faulty brakes, and it looks like your engine needs an overhaul. Now, Mr. Diaz, I can explain this whole thing. You'll get the chance, Mr. Douglas, but until then, I'm going to have to close down your school. After this afternoon, you might have lost my address on purpose. No, no. This afternoon was nothing. Nothing? In my book, you got the Hero of the Year award. Yeah, well, I feel more like Laurel and Hardy, both of them. Well, great. Then you can make me laugh twice. One, by telling me that the loan came through, and, well, anything else that comes to mind. Um, What's coming to mind, Susan, isn't all that funny. No loan. No business. What? Well, the bank sent a guy from the DMV around to recertify the cars for the loan. He ended up closing the whole school down. But why? How could he do that? It's easy. All you need is a little authority and a pencil. Oh, boy. That's... And it wasn't one of Herbie's better days, either. Seems like everything comes at once. Don't you worry about it now. I'll, I'll take care of it. We'll take care of it. We are together, aren't we? Well, that's the thing, Susan. There's a lot that needs straightening out. Just See? wait a minute, Jim. Maybe there's something that we should straighten out right now. Are we together or not? Well, of course, but after what happened today... But after what... what happened? I mean, your business or my kids? Your kids? Yeah, you remember the lake and the Loch Ness monsters? Susan, that's forgotten. Well, not by me it isn't. I mean, I mean, you couldn't wait to get out that door. I was wet and cold. The only thing cold was your feet. Now, wait a minute. I mean, you're just not ready to give up your bachelorhood for three kids. No, Let's wait. be honest. Do I have anything to say about this? It's well, a, a lot of excuses. You know, and it's excuses. Me to Maybe over. I should bring the sign over that says "out of business." You know, my mother told me I was going to have a tough time getting married with three kids, but I'll tell you something. I'm going to give them up for anything. Not anything. 
I'm not asking you to give them up, Susan. Well, nobody's asking me to bring them along. But all I want you to do is put it on the back burner. That's all I'm saying, honey. I'm sorry. Our future is not a pot roast. Look, it's been a big day. And I don't mean what happened at the lake. As far as I'm concerned, that's forgotten. <laughs> Almost. Well, as far as I am concerned, you can take your bachelorhood and your runny nose, and you can go home, and I have two words you're just gonna love. One is good, and the other is bye. Well? Dad came home. He didn't want us to either. All I asked him was how long he was going to be here. Anyway, bachelor doesn't want to marry three kids. Why not? Haven't you ever heard of three's a crowd? We're too much of a crowd. Then let's get rid of Julia. It'd be better for Mom to get rid of the one who caused the trouble. She said she wouldn't get rid of any of us. No, nah, but if she wants to get married, somebody better give her the chance. I don't know when we'll open again, Miss Vernstrom. The inspector that closed us down suddenly went on a vacation. Oh, but I was doing so beautifully in my little Herbie. I know, I know. Oh, I can't learn to drive in this battle wagon. Oh, they can't do this to me. Well, I wish they hadn't done it to me, either. I know, I know. Oh, I wish there was something I could do. Take the tank and take Bagley. Oh, don't look so indignant, you old fossil. Well, uh, excuse me, Bagley. Thanks anyway, Miss Fernster. I, I think I'm just going to be taking a vacation, too. Oh, no. Yeah. I hate to say this, but there are a lot of good schools around. Oh, we'll see. There goes a good customer and a dozen good recommendations. No luck at the DMV either, huh? They're looking into it. Well, I wish you'd look into Herbie. I can't get him to budge. Uh, brakes are locked or something. Oh, Herbie. I'll take care of him. Well, why don't you keep working on this clunker? Oh. Oh. You can't take these things so hard, pal. Now snap out of it. You made a mistake. I forgive you. You're no different from anybody else. Outing won't help. Don't be such a crybaby. Now knock that off. Uh, you know, you're forgiven, so just face up to it like a man. There. Okay. Now that's better. Much better. Yeah, I've been trying to call you. Yeah, I've been out. <laughs> Look. Look, see? No cold. I'm thrilled. But it's chilly enough around here to get pneumonia. Jim, Jim, have the boys been by here? Matthew and Robbie? No. I went by school to pick them up, and they're not there. Well, have you tried home? 
course. They're not there either. Uh, maybe they stopped off somewhere. No, no, no. The boys never go anywhere after school without telling me. It's a rule. Well, I... I wouldn't worry, Susan. I'm sure they'll be okay. Yeah, thanks for your reassurance. Don't you go anywhere. You just slow down. Those kids will show up. You know, boys. You were a kid yourself once. Hear that? New plugs, new points, new carburetor. Same old car. But I'm getting closer. What's the matter? Oh, uh, Susan dropped by. Her kids didn't come home from school. Hope that doesn't mean trouble. I ran off to hop a freight one day after school. Cops brought me home. Dad and I had a long talk. Okay, Herbie. We'll call her as soon as we get home. Or maybe we'll go by there, like you say. Parents live in Des Moines. I don't think they'd be going there. What about Randy's? No, I've already tried. He hasn't seen him. Are you uh, a friend of the family? I hope so. I don't know what to do. The best thing for you to do is to stay right where you are in case they call. Thank you. You'll find them, Susan. Julie, look out for your mother. I think I'd feel more comfortable out looking. Irby. If you can get that clunker running, would you pick me up at Susan's? We're going out looking for the kids. One of us has already started. Come on, can't you move any faster? Sure, but my legs can't. We'll try. My foot hurts. I think I have something in my shoe. Okay, we'll stop. All right, which foot hurts? Neither one anymore. Sure is lonely out here. Guess we're the only ones running away today. Probably. Do you think Mom misses us? Maybe, but she'll get over it. I hope I do. How long do we stay away? Well, when Mom and Jim get married, then we'll go back. You mean we'll ruin the marriage? I hope not. I wouldn't want that to happen again. I'd stay away forever if I thought that was going to happen. Come on, the cabin isn't much farther. Boy, I thought running away would be fun, but it's nothing but work. Okay, you guys, we're going to really have to move out. I told your mom would be home at 5 o'clock. What? It's time. Oh, Johnny. Beep, beep, beep. You know, you can help by sometimes tying your brother's shoe and you see it like this.
we're staying in this creepy place only for the night. Then we'll decide what we want to do in the morning. Let's decide now, then we don't have to go in. Look, I didn't want to have to bring you here in the first place. Now, if you're going to be a pain, I'm going to make you go home. I could never get that far. I can't even believe I got this far. Well, are you coming in or are you going to stay out there all alone? I wish there was another choice. Boy, if anybody ever lived here, they sure were messy. Wow! Whoa! Hey, come on. First time I ever came out of one of those places without losing at least five bucks. Yeah. I'd pay a lot more than that if we could find those kids. running smooth, maybe our luck will do the same. Uncle Randy just had to come. Well, of course I've contacted Mother. You know how much you and your dear ones have always meant to her. She didn't have much luck with Jim's loan. Out of my lasting regret. But how were any of us to know, especially poor Jim, that well, he was risking his students' lives with that car of his. But, of course, we have more pressing concerns right now, don't we, dear? Uh, Mr. Susan, Julie, if you could possibly conceive where those boys might be, I mean, use your imagination, let your minds do the walking, as it were. Randy, the police have already been here. <laughs> Incompetent bureaucrats and brass buttons. What do they know? Now. Could they be at their grandparents, other relatives, friends? They asked every one of those questions. Well, no one ever said they were completely incompetent. Now, there are other ways. Now, don't worry, Susan. We'll find those kids if it takes every resource at my mother's command. <laughs> Probably just an old tree branch scraping up against the house. What's that? It's uh, just an old loose board or something. Now look, if you're going to keep me awake all night, I'll make you go home. When? Right now! Whoa! Come on! Why don't you open it? Trying! You don't have to try anymore. make you laugh. You know, Travis? Sure. He took his kids fishing today. You know what the youngest one caught? A hat. A fishing hat. <laughs> <laughs> I knew where. Well, 
think now. Where would they be? What do they like to do? You had them up at the lake getting to know them better. You must have learned something. You know what I just learned, Bo? What? As a mechanic, you're a pretty good detective. I couldn't get in. You think we ought to go around the lake again, Jim? No, I don't think we could have missed them. Let's try over by Riverton Forest. <laughs> Right. Make that definite. I'll tell you what's definite. I'm confused. Matthew! Robbie, where are you? I wasn't scared at all. I knew Jim and Herbie would find us. Jim, Herbie, and a broken down clunker. Well, first thing in the morning, we're going to have a little talk about running away. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'd like to have a little talk about running away right now. Running away from the truth never works. Which is what I might have been doing. Maybe that episode at the lake shook me up a lot more than I wanted to admit to myself. I know Matthew was shaken up by a whole lot of things. Otherwise, he never would have wanted to run away from home. But you know something? When I realized that you guys were missing, <laughs> that's the kind of shaking up I never want to feel again. Well, then you're going to stay? 
Really stay? Well, if your mother's willing. I'd like to ask her to marry me. She's willing. So am I. Me too. Well, I... <laughs> I might as well make it unanimous. If you really want it. We do. <laughs> this car is a jewel. As far as the DMV and I are concerned, absolutely no problem. I could have told him that. Well, I'm very relieved to hear that. Well, Mrs. Funstrom, I guess there's nothing standing in the way of the bank loan now. Huh? Let's find it, you young Scrooge, or shall I twist a few more arms? <laughs> I'm uh, sorry about the inconvenience, Jim. I hope this makes up for it. Ah. Well, thanks, Randy. I, I do hope that someday we here at Famous Driving School will find a way to show our gratitude. Oh, I'm sure you'll think of something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.